So I'm supposed to be taking a shower. It's like late in the evening. I woke up pretty late this morning. Um, I'm supposed to be taking a shower. It's early in the evening, sorry. But I woke up late in the morning. I'm supposed to be doing my homework. But you know me, I'm always doing something crazy with my hair. And right now I'm putting on some these last because I don't have any petroleum jelly. We're running perm here because, well, I decided I am going to color my hair. And a girl on YouTube said that if you put grease around the perimeter, then it will stop your skin from getting like messed up. So I have a boss that I'm going to use. So I'm going to show you guys that shortly. So I'm all lathered up. This is the dye that I'm using. I know it's pretty close to my skin tone, but that's kind of, I wanted like a blondish, reddish color that's like close to my skin tone. I know it can probably look a little bit, but that's kind of what I'm going for. So I have, so I'm trying to go like this color. Um, so hopefully I can get that work out. But it says that if you have black hair, I have, my hair is like a natural brown color. Um, is like a naturally a two and great but it looks it looks black most of the time the box comes with a cream developer it comes with a conditioner and it comes with the color i don't know how much of this color i need to use but because i want to make sure and this goes as light as possible. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be like just a brown. I want it to be kind of bright color. And I did my research and most of the time Boss is only like a 20 volume developer. So I bought a 40 volume developer as well. And I want to mix this with the dye color instead. Hopefully this will come a lot better. I've never dyed my actual head before. I've only dyed that one two weeks it's like two weeks i probably shouldn't do this i'm gonna do it anyways <laughs> let me read the instructions one more time the instructions pamphlet is also in here i'm going to read this one more time and then i'm gonna start someone taught me all of this you know what my mom and all my friends already tried I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I left the bathroom um, so that I could sit down and do this <laughs> properly. I have my instructions here and it says to use plastic and I'm supposed to mix the color with the developer. Now they don't tell you the amount of developer to use because they already have given you the amount of developer you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to average it. That's what I did when I did the big. And the big came out fine. So I'm just gonna put like half half this bottle of developer and this is uh four four fluid ounces are 118 mils and then I'm going to put in all of this. Okay, so it's actually the color packet is it's white. Okay, I know you're not supposed to smell chemicals, but it doesn't have a strong smell. But I would still say use it in a well ventilated area because it does have a little bit of smell. Oh, and I was supposed to put on gloves before I start squeezing all these things. So, if anybody plans to do this, yeah, follow the instructions, put on your gloves. I didn't put on my gloves because my hands are sweating terribly, but I'll put on the gloves now. I think I'm going to get a, a plastic spoon and just stir it up and I'm going to actually use the spoon to scoop it out and put it on here and then I'll use this comb. It has a metal end but you definitely don't want to use the metal end on the hair. It might cause it to burn off because it's a chemical reaction that's happening. 
So I am going to get a spoon and mix this up. And then come out and start the application. Okay, so I didn't find a spoon, but I did find a fork. And the smell does get a bit strong. So I would suggest an open area. Like the place in the house with most windows. Um, this is how the taste looks. I got fork. Um, my hair is sharp, so I don't think I need to part it. I think I'm just going to put it. I'm going to start at the center because I have a lot more hair here. And I will work my way forward and then around here where there's less hair, then I will do that part. I think that's the best course of action to do it. And then I got to leave it in for half an hour. Nervous. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. This is how the mix looks. It has like a blue tint to it now that I'm mixing the color, so I don't know. It's weird that the blonde color is not actually brown. So I'm just gonna put this on my hair. And I really can't see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna glob it on. Add it back there and quickly comb through it. And hopefully that that's even. I have a mirror. <laughs> I have a mirror in print here. But I can't see the back of my head, so the mirror's not really helping me until I get to the front. But the fork is good because the fork is actually putting it through my hair. A circle me. And then I'm gonna get a plastic bag and then take the comb. Comb that out. Any excess that comes up on the comb, I put it right back on here because we spend $20, we're not wasting this. So, so that's what it looks like. This is not, if this is patchy, I'm gonna be so annoyed at myself. But you know what? Creatives do crazy things. And that's what I am. I'm a creative. And I just can't sit still for very long. So I'm putting this on my head very thick, like you can see what I'm doing now. Oops, that just dropped. And then I'm pasting it on, and then I'm combing it through so that it's even we spread from like root to tip. Combing it through. And then spreading it back on. So hopefully this looks semi-decent. I really shouldn't be doing this by myself. My mom was like, oh, you should not put your hair blonde. You're a black girl with lovely black girl hair. And blonde is, why am I using the viewfinder your phone? She's like, blonde is white people hair color. And I'm like, well, they're black people with naturally occurring blonde hair. And I'm not getting an unnatural color. And also, you didn't have a problem when I was wearing platinum blonde braids, but all of a sudden you have a problem with blonde now? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sassy. But my mom doesn't think of it as being rude. It is like having a real conversation with her about my opinions and my feelings, on her opinions and her feelings. And she's always been open to discussion about something even if her answer is still no. So I had answered to help me and she had said she doesn't approve. And I'm like, I respect that. I'm still done my hair blonde. So call me a fraud, but she's not home right now. <laughs> and this is already in. So nothing can be done really about it. No, uh, she was like, oh my goodness. Wash that out right now, and then we'll just be like, mm, I'd rather not. And that's kind of been our relationship. I'm like, Mommy, I'm gonna do such and such a thing. She's like, I don't approve. And then I'm like, Okay, good talk. Um, I'm gonna go do that now. <laughs> this basically us most of the time. I'm just gonna sit here 
for like half hour and then wash it up. And I'm probably going to save these gloves here in the cup. And hopefully I can get my hand back in them without touching anything. I'm just going to leave this mess right here and come back in half an hour. Okay, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It's been like 10 minutes and it has already lifted a lot. It has this really brassy color right now. So I'm hoping it has a bit more of a brown tone. Or not, I'm going to have to buy some purple shampoo and use that to... Because it's not like too bad, it's not like terrible. But my hair does have the tendency to go orange. So I guess that's something to look out for. I've never done this before. I'm just concerned because in the thicker areas, like the top is blonde, but then it looks like the under area is a bit um, black still. So I'm wondering if I should have like combed it up and then comb it down because I just combed it down. I pray my hair not patchy. I get cray if my hair patchy. I, I hear we're a turbo for the next two months until my hair grow out and I can cut it all off. This stuff is on my hand. I gotta make sure this thing off my hand right here before it burns more or something. The rain just started falling, but as I suspected, um, it came out this reddish. It came out a little darker at the top top. Right here is longer, but at the sides is like this reddish color. Um, I really like the color. I didn't think it would be as red. I thought it would be a bit more like blondish, but <laughs> I love the color. Um, I like I I really like this, and I gotta put in this rain. Oh my gosh, I have to put in conditioner now, and that's the last step. And then I'm gonna style it and show you guys. <laughs> 